Chris here from Gravy. Wanted to give you a quick video tutorial and run through of my Gravy sales and marketing app for Shopify. Now, this app does a number of things. It started off as a referrals app where you could track referrals by distributing coupons and a tracking link. We've since expanded this to include sales pop-ups for social proof, as well as reviews and email. So it's sort of a four-in-one app in that it can do a number of things other than just referrals. Now the sales pops, um, I'll just start with, but uh, before I get into that, the dashboard here basically shows you a summary of what's going on across the reviews and the referrals area. And there's a sales graph and referred sales would show up at the bottom. Um, but the first, uh, yeah, the first menu item here is the sales pop-up. So as any e-commerce person knows, social proof is very important and showing purchase activity is crucial. So this is what that lets you do. Um, you'll see the preview at the bottom here of products that were recently bought. So Shopify allows you 60 days of history um, to show sales pop-ups. And you can not only just show actual sales, but unlike other pop-ups uh, in the App Store, you with Gravy, you can show abandoned carts. So people that add to cart but actually don't buy. This is helpful for new store owners in Shopify where they and you know and they don't have any sales yet and they want to show some social proof. So add to carts will show and you can use these message tags um, and even edit the source code of both the orders pop-up as well as the abandoned uh, orders pop-up. And you can color code it to suit your branding. I've got brown highlights here and uh, also the interval time. You can show this on this on the online storefront only or just on the order status page. That's like the, you know, the, the checkout page, basically, just after you, you're about to, you know, hit send and send it, send in the money, or you can do both. You do have to check this box to make sure it's live and hit save changes with any of these changes. So those are the sales pops. Um, then there's the reviews. Um, and again, you must check to enable these. Um, and basically this is a template for an email that sends an email to purchasers or customers. And you'll want to set a delay, which is usually about two or three weeks after the purchase, um, gives people time to, you know, to look at their purchase, to use it or assemble it. And, you know, if it's a, a, an item that needs assembly. So all the information here is customizable in this email. You can uh, pre-populate the person's name and there's a referral um, email link here as well um, that um, you can include. And Sorry, I meant review link. Sorry, not referral link. Um, and it does say referral in the, in the uh, tag, but it's a review link so that people can go and review the item that they bought. Um, there's also ways to show the reviews on your site and you can um, do various things. You can automatically embed the reviews in your online storefront or your order status page or both. And there's also uh, an iframe code, a bit embed code. And there's also a script if you want to add this directly to your liquid files in Shopify, um, you can do that. And so at the bottom here, you'll see a summary of your shop reviews, uh, five star rating up to five stars, and you're able to edit and delete uh, any reviews that might have bad language or otherwise. So those are reviews. And the final item here is the referrals section and this is very powerful. So you can easily add five to 10% sales, up to up to 20% sales if you get your customers to refer your products. 
you do need to add some items here in terms of um, what what cashback amount you're going to give and what friend discount. So basically, the offer with this is get get a hundred dollars cash back and give your friends five percent off. And you'll need to set up a coupon code in your discounts area um, and then and then paste it in here. So like the sales pops, there's a way to edit the, the text that goes in your referral pop-up. And this referral pop-up will show either on your order status page, on the online storefront, or both. Um, in this case, I've already got sales pops in the front. Um, so I wanted to have the referral pop later on in the order status page. Too many pop-ups is not great on a front page or a home page, for example. Um, so, and you can always preview what you've got here, you know, give 5% off, get $100 cash back. Um, and so that is, yeah, so you got the referral pop-up details, the offer settings, and then there's also, um, yeah, here is the template for a successful referral email. So when somebody actually gets a referral, they can log in and see the referral credit and you can pay them by PayPal. It's integrated with PayPal and um, it's all there. So it's a good idea to preview this before you, um, before you make this go live. Well, and the last item is it's uh, it sort of complements the other features of sales pops and reviews and referrals, but it's it's basically uh, an email um, email sent. We use Mailgun, uh, which is a high quality volume email uh, sending uh, vendor that can make sure they're whitelisted with all the major ISPs and they get they get high delivery rates for their emails. So we use a backend of of uh, Mailgun. So for example, if you wanted to send an abandoned cart email that's in addition to maybe one you set up in Shopify, you can do a custom um, a custom email here and uh, there's some pre-populated items with uh, product names and coupon codes and things. So you can you can do more with your abandoned cart email uh, list there. And then there's, you could send also a customer email um, after someone becomes a customer. Um, this is again, uh, sort of a template that you can promote your referral program with. Uh, you can choose to do this or not, or you can just leave it to the pop-up, but the more emails you know you can send um, after somebody has purchased, and I'm, I put like 504 hours after they purchase, so that's like three weeks. Um, give them a good amount of time to be happy with their purchase and then be in the mood to refer a friend. And then lastly, this is a payments area. There are no currently in this store, there are no current referrals, but this is where you'd have a list of people that you owe money to for referrals. And so you would, you could actually just hit pay and um, they would be paid by PayPal and it's all integrated with the PayPal API. So hopefully that explains the gravy sales and marketing app again it's sort of a four in one sales pop-ups reviews referrals and email marketing all in one and it's all free so hope you enjoy it and thanks for watching